Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com. Going to mix it up just a little bit today. Going to go ahead and do an unboxing and a review of the ASUS RTAC 66U Dual Band Wireless Gigabit Router. Just going to go ahead and open it up for you guys, show you guys the design, maybe show you guys a little quick setup of it, maybe run some speed tests as well, give you my overall thoughts and test this guy out. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so here we go. Here's the box. It is uh, it is wrapped up, so I'm just going to grab this and open it on up. I do, while I'm opening this, I want to make a note that, uh, of course, it being a dual band router, that essentially means you can have concurrent 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. Uh, what's great about having a 5 gigahertz network is basically that there aren't too many things that output at a five, at the 5 gigahertz frequency. So you're gonna get faster speeds, etc. Most routers use the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, uh, which is the most common. So everyone around you using those things get uh, kind of mixed up and the, that's the closer you need to be to the router. So uh, it's great that this has the five gigahertz spectrum. Of course, your device needs to support it, the ones that connect to it. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and flip it on over. It gives you a bunch of information about the router itself. Uh, kind of what's going to come in the box, but we're going to just open it on up and just take straight up take a look at what's in the box. Uh, slide this out, put the box to the side, just a plain white box here, and uh, I need to flip it over. Sorry about that. And here we go. So right away, you do have a disc. My guess is uh, a software disc for when we need to set it up. I'll show that in just a bit. Uh, you have the router itself here in... Uh, some wrapping, so I can pull that out actually. Here it is, looks pretty good. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, not too heavy either, which is not a big deal because of course it just sits somewhere in your house or your apartment or wherever you are living. Uh, VIP member warranty, you do have a two year warranty with ASUS, which is great. I've had nothing but uh, good experiences with ASUS customer support, so you don't need to worry about that. You have a solid booklet with a bunch of information. I guess is a setup guide. Uh, you have that, and then you have a stand here that goes actually on. I will show that on the device in just a second. You have the AC power adapter. My guess is you have an Ethernet cable here, which you do. So you have an Ethernet cable to connect the router to the modem. And then you have three antennas, which you just basically screw onto the back. So let me go ahead and get everything set up, and I will be right back. Just real quick, wanted to show uh, me screwing on one of these antennas, just show you how easy it is. You honestly just screw it on and twist it to where you can tilt it up like that, so you'll see all three antennas are now on my router. I also want to make a quick note about the stand that did come with it. Uh, yes, you can have it flat on whatever surface if you'd like to. It is recommended that you do stand it up uh, vertically. So to do so, to put the stand on, basically you have a seuss up at the top uh, of the stand. You'll see some inserts here. You just kind of slide them in and you can just press up and it should slide right in just like that and then you can actually use your router just like this. So it stands up vertically. Also, it is recommended that the middle uh, antenna is straight up and down, and you have about a 45 degree angle in between each outside antenna. So just letting you guys know there how that looks design-wise. I think it looks awesome. Uh, it's gonna be really cool to just kind of see sitting there. Obviously, I don't really look at it very often, but uh, anyways, of course, as I said, you have the uh, antennas up on the top. Now I can actually show you guys these connections because of this nice stand. Uh, it has USB ports. One thing that's great about the USB ports is it's great for external storage or printer servers. Uh, whether you want some cloud storage going or some wireless printing going, that's what you can use uh, USB ports for. And you have four solid Ethernet uh, cables if you need them. Um, and you also have the Ethernet port for your modem as well. Obviously, DC in as well. A WPS button. I can't remember for the life of me of what it stands for. Okay, so it was bothering me, and it stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. Basically, when you press the button on any other WPS device, you can easily connect without needing to use the uh, security key to connect to the router. So, there's all of the connections on it. Of course, you have uh, nothing out of the ordinary. You have some status lights up at the top. 
And that's it, it's got a nice texture to it. Obviously not a big deal because you're never really holding your router, but let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Real quick, before we do actually set this up, I wanted to talk about, uh, in regards to cloud storage that I was talking about, this has an amazing feature called AI Cloud. It's actually an app you can find in the uh, I, I app store along with the Play Store. Um, you can go ahead and go into it. It's the Asus AI Cloud. Basically, I haven't set it up yet, obviously, because my router is not set up, but allows for uh, cloud, uh, I guess, edits while on your Android or iOS device. So it's really fantastic. You can go through your devices, access various devices, access files, all that good stuff, all from your uh, cell phone, which is fantastic because, of course, as you all know, I do use uh, Android devices pretty exclusively, so uh, it's great that they have this included with your cloud storage on the router. All right, so I'm all ready to get everything all set up. Unfortunately, the only cable input is downstairs, which is why I actually needed an upgraded router because of the distance that the signal needs to travel up to my office and my bedroom. It was just kind of a pain and I would get slower speeds when I'm paying for higher, why wouldn't I just get a router that's actually gonna get all the way up there? So anyways, I have, uh, the key is to have the modem unplugged, have everything unplugged. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my modem now. So get that plugged in. I'm gonna take the ethernet cable that uh, they have provided for you and actually gonna go ahead and plug that into the modem and then I'm gonna put the other end into the uh, slot on the router, that blue slot that I mentioned earlier, that is where you actually plug it in to the router. So plug that on in. Then while I would say let your modem boot on up, let it uh, go ahead and run through and reset and go through and then I'll be right back once mine's done. All right, so my modem's pretty much booted up. I did want to mention that you should, all, you should probably have some space in between the modem and the router. Um, that's always recommended and also I would say aim the antennas at the general direction that your device is connecting to it uh, where you're at most of the time are going to be. So mine is essentially back that way. So I'm going to leave it this way and have the antennas pointed back towards this way. So that's uh, just the best thing to do with the antennas. But now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my router. I did want to make a quick note that of course it's okay, you don't have to use the stand. You can have it sit flat if you want to. These antennas actually can twist and point up that way, so it's no big deal if you don't want to use the stand. It's whatever personal preference of yours. It's recommended that you use the stand, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. But again, I wouldn't see too much of a difference if you use the stand or did not use the stand. All right, so uh, go ahead and plug it in, and as I said, and turn the power on. You will see some indicators here, a power one, letting you know it's trying to connect to the internet, a bunch of various ones as well. Uh, what you're actually gonna need is another ethernet cable to get everything all set up, to get your router all set up. I actually have my laptop right here. And ideally enough, it's an ASUS laptop. As I said, uh, I love uh, ASUS, so I try and get a lot of their products. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other ethernet cable that I have. All right, so I've got my yellow ethernet cable here plugged into the one slot of the router. I do wanna make a note that uh, the lighting indicators are all up now. Power lets you know it's connected to the internet with the modem and it has a 2.4 gigahertz light and a five gigahertz light, letting you know it is broadcasting at both, uh, both gigahertz. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this end into my laptop, which is what we're gonna to need to do to get everything all set up. On, uh, on the router side. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around to look at my screen so we can go ahead and get this router set up. All right, so right when I opened up Chrome, this screen came up, which is great. Um, you can actually type in 198.162.1.1 into your browser as well, if for whatever reason this does not come up. But anyways, uh, it's gonna check your connection. It's gonna go through a setup wizard, which is fantastic. You don't really need to even do any complicated steps. It's gonna actually automatically do it for you, it looks like. Uh, you can have a router login name and a password as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in real quick. Next, you're taken to this screen. Basically, you're gonna need to name the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz networks. They're gonna be two different ones that show up on your computer or your phone or whatever, whichever one you can connect to. So you can go ahead and call it whatever you want. You could call it QB King 77 if you wanted. I'm gonna leave the default settings right now. You should definitely put in a network key for security reasons, so I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I went ahead and applied the settings. It took a little while, but they did apply. 
and it says there's a new firmware version available. Make a note that whenever there's a new firmware version available, always upgrade it via Ethernet. Do not do it over Wi-Fi, so just make note of that. I'm gonna, it's obviously recommended that you upgrade it, so I'm gonna upgrade it, be right back. All right, so I actually had to reboot my computer after uh, the firmware upgrade went through, and so I upgraded it, uh, rebooted my computer, and went to 192.168.1.1 in your browser. Just type that in, press enter, sign in with whatever login credentials you put in, and it should take you to this screen. I do want to point out that both um, the 5 uh, gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz networks are showing up. ASUS 5G is the 5 gigahertz, ASUS is the 2.4 gigahertz. I'm still connected via Ethernet, but just wanted to go ahead and show you this uh, menu here, letting you know what uh, the screen basically does is you can change the SSID, you can change your uh, login password, all that great information. You can probably disable one or the other if you don't want to use one, if you don't want to use the other. Um, there's guest network settings, which is great to have. Uh, you can actually have three network keys for guests, which is something I've really never seen in a router. For each uh, gig for each band, you can have three separate keys for guests. So that's great. Um, there's a traffic manager, so you can change uh, all this, all the traffic that goes through on each device. Parental controls, if you are an adult and have kids and you want to go ahead and uh, kind of restrict what your kid can do online, you have parental controls. There's the USB application. So as I said, the AI disk is where you can plug in storage, have some cloud storage going via your Android iOS device, network printing, as I said, servers, um, and there's download master as well, down at the bottom here, let me show you. There's download master, that's basically uh, an all-in-one download solution. You can go ahead and Google it. It's, it's actually pretty neat, whether you're using BitTorrent or other services to uh, download things. There's an AI cloud option, so to set up through your phone, you need to go ahead and say, hey, I'm gonna set up a cloud disk, smart access, or smart sync. I will do so eventually uh, once I get a storage device to plug into my router, but it's great that it has this options. There's advanced settings on the side. I'm not gonna go through each one. I'm just gonna show you what they are. You'll see wireless LAN, WAN, um, IPv6 VPN server, so uh, virtual private network server, firewall, administration, system log, network tools. You can just do a quick Google search and figure out what each of those do and what uh, they're changing, so just let you know that those are there, which is great. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you about the, I guess essentially the software and what uh, this is capable of doing. I'm gonna do some speed tests and give some overall thoughts on the router. All right, of course, going to go ahead and do some speed tests. This is speedtest.net. Before that, I wanna go ahead and show you some results from previous tests that I did do. So you will see it, let me zoom in on these actually. Um, the problem with the last router was it didn't have enough range, so you'll see uh, my download speeds got greatly affected right here. Um, I would get around like almost six megabits per second download speed. Upload speeds were still good, 11 and a half, etc., but my download speeds were just terrible. Uh, so hopefully this has improved that. I should be getting upwards of probably around 40 if I had to guess. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, run a speed test. Hopefully it has improved. Let's take a look. I also wanted to make a quick note that those speeds were all the same regardless of the server that I was on. I tried various servers and it was all the same. So let's go ahead and begin test. It'll go ahead and select ping, uh, select server based on the ping and run through. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Instantly. I mean, these tests were just done maybe 25 minutes ago, the ones I was getting five, and now I'm getting almost 60 megabits per second download difference. I, obviously, my router was a little bit outdated, but I didn't realize it was, it was effect, the signal strength was affecting it that much. So you'll see now, um, I'm going to be very pleased with these speeds. Now, because when I would uh, download large files, I'd have to walk downstairs with my laptop. Now, as you can tell, I didn't don't need to do that. This is on the five gigahertz network. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network and run a test as well. Okay, I went ahead and connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network and I'm gonna test it once more. Um, and we will go ahead and see if what the speed difference is. Hopefully, it's very similar. Again, it's going to have interference, but you'll see it is also 
at about 25 megabits per second. So that is a better comparison between the uh, this router and the, my last one. It's about t almost 20 megabits per second faster on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Keep in mind that you're going to have a lot of interference. I have a lot of interference here. There's so many routers listed because uh, I have people living very close to me. But you'll see um, it definitely increased it. Even with all this interference, uh, it went from almost 6 to about 24 megabits per second, which is very great news. So I'm very pleased with uh, these router speeds. All right, so I just want to go ahead and give you guys a little bit more information on the router and also give you some final thoughts of mine in regards to the ASUS RTAC 66U router. Um, it is, as I said, dual band. So you got 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz. The 5 gigahertz band you can run at uh, up to 1.3 gigabits per second speed. So that is insanely fast and then on the 2.4 gigahertz spec spectrum you can have 450 megabits per second which is equally quick so that is why it is called a gigabit router because it can run at speeds above one gigabit now i also wanted to mention that it is somewhat future proof uh, in a sense it uh, having 802.11 ac support uh, that being uh, essentially a networking standard for Wi-Fi, um, you might be familiar with 802.11G and all that good stuff, but AC is essentially one that just started rolling out in 2012-2013 and uh, people predict, analysts predict that by 2015 it will essentially be the popular standard for devices coming out. So generally your cell phone, your laptop at the moment aren't going to use the 802.11 AC standard because it hasn't been built in yet, but hopefully in the near future it will be. That's why this router you can use for a little while because it's going to use that standard in the future. Now in regards to who this would be good for, uh, for the general consumer, someone just at home, um, it's great for watching movies, Netflix, YouTube, all that stuff is going to be improved with, of course, increased range, increased data speeds, it's great. Um, it has the option for uh, networking with printing and cloud storage as well. So if you have multiple pe people in your home, if you're a family, you can set up this cloud storage and share files easily, whether it be pictures, videos, all that good stuff. You can just share between devices very easily. It'll help me to share between phone, cell phone and PC as well uh, with sharing those kind of files between those devices. In regards to gaming, it's going to help, of course. Uh, it does have, in those settings, in, the, in those browser settings that I was showing you, it does have settings to open up ports, all that good stuff for those of you that do game, Xbox, PS3, um, PlayStation, all that good stuff. But anyways, my Xbox is up in my room, and I had never gotten full bars in the spot that I put it in. It always was at two as opposed to three, I believe, but it had full bars when I was connected to this new router. So the range definitely did increase, um, speeds it, connection has been fine in all the multiplayer games that I've played. With watching Netflix as well on my Xbox, it would sometimes cut out, I have not had that happen once yet. So as I said, watching videos, playing games as well, I'm a college student, um, I download a lot of large files and upload a lot too. I'm uploading videos all the time, so that's great, uh, I upload pictures to Facebook, all that normal stuff. So, uh, and as a college kid, having to download, uh, I've downloaded books before, all that stuff. So it, it's very helpful with, I know with the cloud printing, I'm gonna probably try and set that up with my printer. My printer is already wireless though, so I shouldn't have any issues with that connecting to the router itself. So that'll be good. Uh, cloud storage will be great as well when sharing files between people. But anyways, overall, it's a highly recommended product by me just because of uh, various reasons, obviously the great uh, range. I was actually walking outside and stayed connected much longer than my old router did. Uh, so the range is definitely incre increased, which brings along better speeds. You have the concurrent 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks, uh, which is helpful for those of you that do own devices that can connect to the 5 gigahertz network. Um, the setup was so easy as well. As you saw me doing it, it ran through the setup uh, pretty much automatically. It let you know what you need to type in, all that good stuff. Uh, overall, a highly recommended router by me. Uh, ASUS has great, as I said, customer support. Their hardware is always very good quality. I've had my laptop for a while now and I haven't had any issues with it. So ASUS always gets a thumbs up from me. I always try and when it comes to uh, technical hardware, go with ASUS. 
So now thankfully uh, I have a router that uh, follows that, uh, that path I'm going on. But anyways, definitely let me know what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. And uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.